And the referee is Andy Brace. So Edinburgh against the Ospreys. The Ospreys have won their last three matches against Edinburgh. And the Ospreys, of course, ended their seven-game losing streak against the Dragons last time out. Captain. Good attendance tonight here at Marseille. It's chilly. There's a bit of a breeze out there, but otherwise it's perfect. Few showers during the day, but it's dry right now. We've seen some spectacular rugby already this weekend in the Pro 14. Will we see some more tonight here in Edinburgh? Brendan Leonard, maybe they'll go for width this time. Defence continues to be solid. Brendan Leonard for Dan Evans with four tries in Europe already this season in just two games. And now it is Dimitri Arhip who goes thundering over. And it's one of the big old Grizzlies in the front row who gets the first score of the game. Yeah, patience so important when you get into these areas as well. And hold your depth. And sometimes forwards in particular get a little bit over eager, ready for the collision that time. Ahip did so well, just held the depth. Mercer was the first option. Leonard ignored the first option and hit the second option. Kicking duties for him today. Won the golden boot last season with an 88% return. So he is a, a mighty fine ball striker off the tee. Hold. Foyle screaming and shouting. He's going to pick the ball up next. And this is like the Ospreys, this is how they ended up scoring their try through patience and phases close to the line, not panicking. Referee playing an advantage. So what will they do here? They may create an opportunity for Tom Brown. Yet again, those white shirts are there in number. Blindside once more, Cornell Dupree, what an offload from Dupree! And it's Blair Kinghorn, who's the king's man well, here at Marseille. We told you about that cutting edge upstate. Blair Kinghorn with the first great offload to set up the attacking position. And Conor Dupree gets through the contact, gets his hands free, puts him in the corner. So getting the the Thunderers again through that central spine as they tried to do an occasion in the first half, Edinburgh. Here's Phil Burley with the offload, which sticks Simon Bergen in possession. Nathan Files. Bit of pace and tempo about the start of the second half for Edinburgh. Johnson for Kinghorn. Oh, great tackle. Got him. Sam Davis brings his man down. But nobody's going to bring down Nathan Farrells. Who goes squirreling through for a try. And there was vast energy at the start of the second half from Edinburgh. A monstrous injection from the home side. They've come out with an intention to play, they've found the shoulders and they've got the offloads away. And a great finish there, as you see. But Bradley Davis did hard work to chase that down. Ball back to this hard-running Edinburgh side, and no one runs harder than Blair Kinghorn. He's a handful, Robbo. No doubt about that. Jimmy Ritchie. Stay. Creeping into the 22 again. Nice Luke. Crosby, tell you, Crosby carries well. He doesn't look like a particularly big man. But he's, he's quick off the mark and quick off the mark through the gap. It's Jason Tubby and the Osprey shock absorbers have eventually blown. They simply couldn't absorb all of that pressure. Fair play to the Ospreys. They're showing courage in defence, even though the game is lost. So close this time. Hidalgo Klein and it's Magnus Bradley! And the fireworks explode around Marseille. It's the gunpowder to finish. And Edinburgh come away with a victory and the try bonus point. Oh, there was an inevitability about that try. They were making good yards. They physically dominated those collisions. And that time Bradley looked up and he had it. An outside half up against him with a, with a metre to go to the try line. There's only one winner there. Really impatient shown by Edinburgh and great for them to get the bonus point. Now what a performance. And of course they can uh, look forward now with optimism to the rest of the season perhaps and 
three games against Glasgow. They've got a trilogy for the 1872 Cup. This is a, a three-test series against their bitter rivals, and they look to be on the right path right now. Uh, certainly, they need to make the most of the next month's fixtures, or the next couple of months' fixtures, because you look at the tail end, they have a very difficult back end of the season. The last six or seven fixtures, really tough for Edinburgh against the top sides in the Pro 14, so they have to make the most of the fixtures coming up, particularly against the South African sides now. But this is a terrific performance this evening here at my side. 37 points, 37 points to 10. The end being a very comfortable win for Edinburgh.